Hey guys, my name is Ampika and sorry for keeping you wait for so long. Apologies guys, apologies. So all of you are here with uh, me on an academy's YouTube channel which is Let's Crack CVSC with us. So here in first of all without like um, without uh, telling about an academy I directly cannot jump into the topic. So first of all let me tell a crazy feature about an academy. So here in we have got two major things and they are your uh, plus subscription and your iconic subscription. So let me talk to you talk to each one of you about plus subscription. So herein, you know, like you don't need to travel to any of the other places and you can learn out things at the comfort, at the ease of your own house. Next thing is unlimited access to all your courses. Once you will going to, uh, you know, apply for any of the courses, you can check out n number of courses related to it, right? Next thing is herein you will be top by nation's top educators. They are so amazing in their own particular fields guys. Like if you have any doubts, they can, they all are there to help you out. They are like, you know, they're like superheroes, which they are there just to help you out in every other way. So if you have doubts, we will surely going to help you out with that. Hi Nidhi, good evening. Sorry for uh, making you wait for so long. Apologies. Next is ex exhaustive coverage of courses, of syllabus. So here in every inch, like every corner, every bit of your course, of your syllabus will be covered. Next thing is regular doubt clearing sessions are there for you. Live test series and here in, hi Roshni. And here in, uh, you know, the study material will also be provided on our part to each one of you in the format of your PDF. So you can download it, you can watch it out at n number of times, right? Next is when it comes to English, you know, a major problem is how to frame the answers. We completely know, like we know what the question is asking us, but the problem arises, dude, like how to answer it. So herein, we will surely going to have your uh, answer writing sessions wherein we the teachers the educators will going to help you out in framing the answers right so that was all about plus then comes the crazy the iconic subscription feature of our an academy so herein the first amazing thing about it is that the personal mentors and you know I mean, these mentors, if you have, if you want to have any of those personal guidance from any of the specific educator, so herein that is available only with iconic subscription. Next is live doubt solving sessions, weekly report, like how did you exactly perform, you know, like your quizzes, your tests will be evaluated, right? Next thing is parent connect. So if you have, if your parents have any uh, queries related to an academy if they want to know your performance so we're going to surely going to help them out with that next is study planner and along with that all the benefits which were right there with plus they will be there for your iconic as well right so herein we will going to cover your science your commerce as well as your ncrt courses because you all know like for grade 11 and grade 12 we believe in reading those giant huge massive books like enormous books right those whooping books right but herein uh landscape of soul bacha kal hi complete hua deepak in yesterday's session i have already done with that yeah so with NCRT batches, they will simply going to cover every corner of the book of NCRT, right? And that is again for science, for commerce, as well as for your humanities. Next thing is language. So herein, we believe in imparting the knowledge. Language is simply not the barrier for us and neither for you, isn't it? So all these batches are in a bilingual you know it it is there in english as well as in hindi so whichever way you are comfortable do enroll with an academy right next important thing is uh, creative corner which is like you know cbc has this notion that we don't want to create the robots right we want to create human beings and what are the you know the, the, the distinctive feature about human beings that they are multi-talented or I can say multi-talented right so therein CBSC also believes in you know uh, uh, chiseling out each and every thing about an individual about an individual right so that is why with this concept your unacademy has also come up with creative corner wherein we are going to have sessions on hi Deeksha on Vedic math doodling, public speaking, origami, magic tricks, poetry, 
storytelling, robotics, mnemonics and debating. And these all will be taught to you not by somebody who knows a bit about it. Rather, these all will be taught to you by the creative experts, right? So they will going to help you out with all these things. Isn't it interesting, guys? I mean, genuinely, I am moved towards it. So with Plus and with Iconic, whichever way is fine, whichever way is comfortable with you, go for it, right? And another thing is you can use my code, which is Ambika, which is A-M-B-I-K-A. I repeat, which is A-M-B-I-K-A, which is right here. So you can use it. And with that, you will going to get 10% of discount. Now, next important things who are uh, who have actually moved by listening to all the features about an academy, how to get into it. So it's very easy, guys. All you need to do is go to your Play Store, where we download games and apps. Download karte hai. Wahan pe type an academy learning app. This is how it will going to look like install it right next is our uh, you know the next question arises ki hame pata kab chalega like what all classes are being lined up and at exactly what time so for that we have got this telegram uh, id which is quest 11 cbse science and you can use it to get the information right and as i've already told you you need to use my code which is ambika to get a 10 percent discount on your enrollment right so now with this, let's move to the agenda of the day, which is the ailing planet, the green movement's role. Right, so that is something which we are going to talk today in today's lecture. Wow, this slide is looking so pretty, isn't it? Anyway, so in this lecture, let me tell to each one of you out there that this will going to be a very long lecture because herein we will going to read out each and every line, each and every word will be clear, clarified to you. So if you are really interested to attend this session, gather a lot of time to watch it. And secondly, do sit with your pen and your book. I mean your pencil and your book and write down the difficult terms, whichever is being mentioned in the book right away. Clear? So, uh, yeah, Roshni. Okay. So, I mean, I don't need to describe to all of you what Mother Nature does for each one of us. I mean, without a doubt, Mother Nature is, you know, it, it considers each one of us. I'm not considering each means like each simply does not mean simply humans. Each like innumerable children, which is your flora, which is your fauna, your trees, your plants, your animals, your rivers. So it actually helps us to live in a very peaceful environment. It has created that ways. But we, the human beings, did not like it at all. And we have come up with this whole idea that we want to destroy it. And we have done it to a very colossal level. We have already destroyed it. So it says, Mother Nature cares for her innumerable children by providing us with flora and fauna, rivers to irrigate our farms, rains to quench the thirst of our plants and humans, trees to give us food and fruits, medicinal herbs and wood. Right, without a doubt, ye sab hame provide already ho chukai by Mother Nature. We cannot live without each of these things. And I think you all are in grade 11. Ye sab ko pata hai like what Mother Nature is doing for all of us. The food which we are eating, the food which my mom is cooking right now, you know, the pet which I have in my house, the medicinal herbs, the wood where I'm sitting, the house itself. Everything is, uh, uh, we have got this via nature itself. There's nothing which humans have created. We have actually extorted nature to make our life comfortable right and that is how we are simply you know declining with the i mean we are simply destroying it to the utmost level but the industrial revolution so guys uh, in the year 1850 if i'm not wrong or in fact somewhere there industrial revolution took place in britain i might be wrong with the year though but industrial revolution started and with the concept i repeat with the concept of growth and development we have killed our mother nature which we like we have killed the earth right the industrial revolution and the name of the on the name of the growth and development different countries led the world into the dumping ground which is contaminated so you know with this whole concept that we will be uh, you know we are developed nations or hame growth ke liye ye sab kuch chahiye and with that we have made our lives miserable by putting the earth, by putting the mother nature into the dumping ground, which is totally full-fledgedly contaminated, like full of diseases. 
you all know what is happening in present scenario and from where it has all begun the story is like this is just not about this particular thing hi sujal but there are lots and lots of things which we have done to mother earth and the result is that we all are jam packed in our own houses we are wearing masks we are sanitizing our hands why this is something which nature is you know karma that's what we say and that is what is happening now it's time to meet the author of our chapter and i repeat this chapter is from your hornbill book again this will going to be a very long uh, session so guys do sit with your pencil and your book open so that you can write down the difficult terms which i'm going to tell it to you right here so the author is nani palkiwala right so his year is from 1920 to 2002 we have recently lost him and he was an indian economist and jurist okay so यहाँ इस वाले चैप्टर के अंदर देर मल्टीपल 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 फैक्ट्स मल्टीपल डेटा व्हिच ही हैज प्रोवाइडेड एंड दैट वाज द व्हाई ही हैज डन दैट बिकॉज ही हिमसेल्फ इज इज एन इकोनॉमिस्ट sorry was an economist right and he uh, is uh, one of the very great lawyers a journalist and a jurist of india as well he was one of the leading interpreters interpreters of the constitutional law so hamara constitution kaisa hai uh, you know what i mean he himself has advocated about it so um, he is a very prolific person who is no more now it's a simple gist of the chapter ki hame is pure chapter mein padhne kya wale hai right so this chapter will be focusing on the causes that are responsible for the weakening health of this planet so yahan pe hum wo sari cheezon ke bare mein padhne wale hain those reasons you know that what 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 we have done to our earth what we have done to our planet and i think this is the right time guys ki hum is chapter ke bare mein padh rahe hain because agar abhi bhi if we'll not going to make changes with our lives with the way we are living so we will be doomed for sure right so this chapter will be focusing on the causes that are responsible for the weakening health of this planet oh yes diksha we have destroyed our nature at a whooping level agreed right colossal level massive level the writer of this article is nani palkiwala this article was published in the indian express on the 23rd of november in the year 1994 so guys ab jo hum chapter padhne wale hain that is basically an article right ye jo pura chapter hai aapka ye ek article tha jo ki print hua tha jo ki publish hua tha in your uh, indian express that too on 23rd of uh, november 1994 imagine i think maximum in fact all of you were not even born in that year isn't it so imagine situation earth ki tab bhi itni depleting thi itna destroyed tha in 1994 ki hame ye article likhna pada i mean nani palke wala ko right and this is the present scenario this is 2020 and look where are we no changes has been made kitne articles print ho chuke hain we all are so aware what is happening to our earth but how many of us has already taken a decision or step towards it none isn't it so guys um, here in ab jab ye chapter padhenge so i hope all of you will going to connect with it relate with it because up to agar abhi bhi we will not going to understand it no so i don't know what else we want to see in this article the writer deliberates deliberates means deliberately intentionally deliberates about the green movement so yahan pe he has talked about the green movement the ailing planet first of all main aapko ailing ka term samjha do because this whole chapter uh, title itself is ailing so ailing simply means poor health right ailing means poor health and that is the h e a l t h and that is the name of your chapter the poor health of our planet the ailing planet the green movement's role summary talks about a zoo declared humans as world's most dangerous animals so in a gist gist matlab kya hota hai bachcha in a very short form aapko puri story bata di jati hai so right in a gist itself yahan pe abhi वैसे भी we will going to read in the chapter also ki kaise in one of the africa zoo if i'm not wrong yes africa ke isi zoo mein likha hua hai there's a zoo i mean okay wahan pe there are bars there are prisons or wahan pe there is no animal in that prison in that cage in fact rather there is a mirror inside it right or us mirror ke samne because obviously human i mean aap wahan ja ke khud ko dekhoge 
और वहां पे लिखा हुआ क्या है मीट वर्ल्ड मोस्ट डेंजरस एनिमल एंड दैट इज ह्यूम राइट वी कंसिडर दी अदर एनिमल एज डिफिकल्ट एज डेंजरस बट डूट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एफ्रीकन जू वी आर डैमेजिंग प्लान अर्थ वी आर द रीजन वाई वी आर स्टक इन आर हाउसेज टूडे राइट सो द मैसेज ऑफ द होल स्टोरी इज आई थिंक कुछ देर बाद वॉर हैपन दीक्षा सी वेन आई टीच द चैप्टर नो आई जस्ट डाइव इन टू इट फुल फ्लेजली सो येस आई मीन Yeah, we'll discuss the message. अभी भी एक बार पढ़ लेते हैं द ऑथर नानी पाल की वाला कॉमेंट्स ऑन द डेटोरॉइटिंग डेटोरॉइटिंग मीन्स डिप्लीटिंग डिक्लाइनिंग कंडीशन ऑफ आर प्लान इट स्पीक्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम फेस्ड बाई आर प्लान सो पूरा ये जो पूरे चैप्टर में वट ऑल प्रॉब्लम आर अर्थ इज फेसिंग और हैज फेस्ड वी विल गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट दैट रीजन्स फॉर इट्स पुअर कंडीशन वॉट वर वॉट ऑल और वॉट वर द रीजन्स फॉर इट राइट for its poor condition and the changing view of the world for the play planet and with time how perhaps i i, I mean up to i cannot even say because this essay was written in the year 1994 tab shay thode hope se ki we will going to survive it but this corona uh huh okay it enumerates some alarming statistics enumerates but it means it puts down it pens down examples right some alarming statistics again why stats bacha because he himself was an economist so ye sirf hawa mein baat nahi kar rahe he has got the data along with him some alarming statistics to suggest how the growth of the world population has tremendously affected the environment and how this world uh, you know the population and everything has uh, somehow affected our planet so 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 badly right now i would request all of you to uh, kindly open the book and uh, with that we'll begin with the learning and the teaching of this particular chapter again i'm reminding you guys um, this will be a very long lecture this chapter was confusing um nidhi what me i don't know i mean this is the most direct chapter which i have read again it's an article right so um i mean no, there is no story associated or related to it though but if you have any confusions i'm right here you can ask me yeah don't keep any of the confusions at least in my class keep it out of the door okay it says the yeah it says the ailing planet ailing ka matlab hame already pata chal chuka hai which is in poor health uh, another thing i don't have a pen tab that is why it is looking so pathetic so though i'm blessed with good head good handwriting so don't doubt don't have a doubt about it okay it says the ailing planet the green movement's role nani palkiwala notice these expressions in the text infer their meaning from the context right so these are terms which we will going to discuss in detail abhi hum discuss karenge so please unhe sath mein likh bhi lijiyega the terms are a holistic and ecological view sustainable development languish ignominious darkness inter alia decimated catastrophic depletion transcending concern with that let's move to the chapter the following article was written by nani palkiwala and published in the indian express 24th of november 1994 this is something imagine guys this was written in the year 1994 you are sitting here with me in the year 2020 and look what was the situation of the earth back then and you yourself evaluate that it has declined or it has improved the issues that he raised regarding the declining health of the earth continue to have relevance and that is what the whole chapter is all about right that whatever was the condition of earth back in those years it is still prevalent it is still right there now it says one cannot recall any movement in world history which has gripped uh just a second yeah okay one cannot recall any movement in world history which has gripped grip means clutch up gripping bana hum log cricket khelte hain koi bhi match i mean you know badminton or tennis we grip the racket right that's what is trying to say 
one cannot recall any movement in world history which has gripped the imagination of the entire human race so completely and so rapidly as the green movement so herein he is simply talking about that itni sare events ho chuke hain abhi tak world history mein but itna zyada important itna zyada gripping koi bhi movement nahi tha which was green movement right which started nearly 25 years ago so this concept called as green movement it started exactly 25 years ago now why 25 years ago guys ye hai 1994 mein ye article likha gaya tha let's go back to 25 years which is perhaps 1972 in 1972 the the world's first nationwide green party was founded in new zealand so who actually find of uh, who actually was oh, sorry which country was the reason behind this green movement that was new zealand since then the movement has not looked back so uske baad se there was no looking back for this movement looking back means peechhe mud ke kabhi nahi dekha none of the countries have taken its foot backward after the green movement okay i am writing it for all of you what do we mean by green movement if you want you can also write it down so it is a a preservation or it means a preservation preservation understand i mean you all know right preservation means bachana so it talks about a preservation of the environment or when i'm saying environment guys it means all sort of resources also resources for future generation right it says resources for future generation clear so that was all about green movement sustainable development humne shayad grade 6 or 7 mein padha tha in social studies in geography right so in the same way we have green movement wherein we are trying to yes preserving nature wherein we are trying to preserve the environment the nature by keeping all the resources intact and along with that for the future generation that is more important we have shifted one hopes irrevocably so irrevocably means that cannot be changed right irrevocably or uh, you know we are preserving it from the mechanistic view to a holistic and ecological view now what is holistic and ecological view it means that um uh, wherein we are trying to protect our ecology what is ecology that is all the resources be it your plants your animals your whatever resources which we have got here on uh, earth so we are try to save it right हम लोग अभी तक बहुत ही मैकेनिकल होके सोच रहे थे नाउ हमारा व्यू शिफ्ट हो चुका है टू अ होलिस्टिक एंड इकोलॉजिकल व्यू ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड व्हाट इज दैट दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर ओन मदर अर्थ इट इज अ शिफ्ट इन ह्यूमन परसेप्शन अब हम लोग का परसेप्शन अब हम लोग का माइंड ही चेंज हो गया है एज रेवल्यूशनरी एज दैट इंट्रोड्यूज रेवल्यूशनरी का मतलब क्या होता है कंप्लीट चेंज revolutionary means complete change introduces by uh, copernicus anybody who can tell me who copernicus was any idea okay uh, if you are very much interested into geography and uh, science right so copernicus uh, was uh, the scientist who told to everybody that there are other planets other than earth in our solar system and we all revolve around sun right so introduced by copernicus who taught mankind in the 16th century that the earth and other planets revolved around the sun right so that is what it is trying to say that hum log ka jo pura mindset tha we as a human beings who were very much i mean um, you know hum log ka pura ka pura perception change ho gaya hai yes he said earth was round and along with that he also told us that there are many planets who revolve around sun it is just not the earth rather there are many other planets who all who revolve around sun 
for the first time in human history there is a growing worldwide consciousness so now for the very first time pure ke pure world mein i repeat for the very first time in the whole human uh, for the very first time in the human its history itself we as humans are talking about वर्ल्ड वाइड कॉन्शियसनेस क्या होता है बच्चा कि सब लोग एक्टिव हो गए हैं सबके कॉन्शियस जाग गए हैं दैट द अर्थ इट सेल्फ इज अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इनॉर्मस बींग ऑफ विच वी आर पार्ट एंड नाउ जब वेन वी आर वाइड अवेक नाउ वी नो वॉट अर्थ इज राइट सो हियर इन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अर्थ एज अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ये जो अर्थ है हम इसको लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म की तरह ट्रीट कर रहे हैं एंड an enormous being of which of a we are simply is the part of it hum log simply ek part hai us ek huge giant ball ka it has its own metabolic needs and vital processes which need to be respected and preserved or is earth ke now metabolic needs kya hote hain bachcha i am writing it for here for all of you here needs of a i am uh, reading it out as well i said no aap log agar likhna chahte hain to likh lijiyega needs of a living being that goes through change right that is oops that's go through devanshu this is the chapter that goes through the change right बिकॉज जैसे कि हम लोग अपने uh, कितने सारे चेंजेस होते रहते हैं इन द सेम वे अर्थ में भी बहुत ज्यादा चेंजेस होते हैं एंड वी शुड रिस्पेक्ट इट इट हैज इट्स ओन मेटाबॉलिक नीड्स लाइक एनी अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म अर्थ के भी अपने मेटाबॉलिक नीड्स हैं एंड वाइटल प्रोसेस विच नीड टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड एंड प्रिजर्व एंड वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट दैट एंड वी हैव टू प्रिजर्व इट बट इट इज नथिंग टू गेट बॉड बिकॉज दिस इज द ट्रू कंडीशन ऑफ अर्थ इज इट इट रोशनी दैट इज वाई इवन आई एम प्रोनाउंसिंग इट मैं उसको पढ़ भी रही हूँ आई एम रीडिंग इट एज वेल सो प्लीज साइमिलटेनियसली लिख लीजिएगा अगेन दिव्यांशु दिस इज द प्रेजेंट सिनारियो वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू अर्थ सो अगर अभी भी हमें ये चीज़ बोरिंग लग रही है सो आई डोंट नो वॉट अर्थ नीड्स टू अंडर गो कि हमें ये चीज़ बहुत ही सीरियसली हम लोग कंसिडर करने लग जाए द अर्थ वाइटल साइंस रिवील अ पेशेंट इन डिक्लाइनिंग हेल्थ सो नाउ ये जो अर्थ है इट लुक्स लाइक अ पेशेंट Okay, you want me to repeat metabolic needs. So that means needs of a living organism, right? Needs of a living organism, right? That enables them to have a chemical process. हम लोग की body में काफी ज़्यादा जैसे changes होते हैं, वैसे ही earth की body में भी काफी like earth की itself में you know in the earth itself is going through multiple changes. राइट एंड अर्थ की भी प्रोग्रेस होती है जैसे हम लोग इवॉल्व हो रहे हैं लाइक वेन वी वर एब्स एंड देन वी बिकेम ह्यूमन्स इन द सेम वे अर्थ भी हमारे साथ इवॉल्व हो रही है सो वी नीड टू रिस्पेक्ट अर्थ की भी नीड्स राइट ओके द अर्थ वाइटल साइंस रिवील अ पेशेंट इन डिक्लाइनिंग हेल्थ और ये जो अर्थ की प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन है गाइज इट लुक्स लाइक दैट अर्थ इज अ पेशेंट और उस पेशेंट की और ज्यादा तबीयत खराब होती जा रही है We have begun to realize our ethical obligations. Now, what do we mean by ethical? It is we are supposed to be. Ah, uh, ham log ko ethics pe jana padega. We have to follow certain rules and regulations. You understand what is moral duty? What are ethical duties? Right. So, ethical. Ah, uh, all those who are from commerce background, I hope you know about it. Right. So, ethical. मतलब होते हैं some responsibilities, some duties we have. We have begun to realize our ethical obligations to be good stewards. Now, who are stewards? We stewards are basically the managers. अगर आप लोग Hollywood movies देखते हो, so you know they have stewards. In fact, जब आप थोड़ी पुरानी Hollywood movies देखोगे, so यहाँ पे we have got the stewards who are simply the managers, right? So manager who looks after the thing, things. we have uh, we have begun to realize our ethical obligations aur hum log kuch ek point tak apni apna you know apna contribution ki hame earth ke liye kaisa karna chahiye so we have got it to be good stewards of the planet and responsible trustees of the legacy to future generations aur hame hamari future generations ke liye we have to leave and leave and uh, leave the planet in such a way that they feel that our that our uh, 
यू नो आर प्रीवियस जनरेशन हैज नॉट डेटेरॉइटेड इट हैड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉइड इट अगर अभी हम लोग हीरो शिमा नागा साकी की बात करना स्टार्ट कर दे सो दैट इज वॉट विच हैज आई मीन दिस इज दैट इज समथिंग विच हैज मेड अस फील कि कितना शेमफुल इंसिडेंट था वर्ल्ड वॉर वन वर्ल्ड वॉर टू ऑल दोज वॉर्स राइट सो हाउ बैडली वी ब्लेम दैम इन द सेम वे अगर हम अर्थ का अभी भी ध्यान नहीं रखेंगे सो दैट इज वॉट द फ्यूचर जनरेशन विल ऑल्सो गोइंग टू ब्लेम अस राइट इट इज सेंग वी हैव बिगन एंड ग्रेजुअली दो आई मीन आई नो फ्यू ऑफ माई ओन फ्रेंड्स हु डू नॉट यूज प्लास्टिक द अदर डे वी वेंट टू वी वेंट फॉर अ कॉफी and one of my cousins you know she was uh, having her own tumbler so because they give in plastic mugs these days because of corona they don't want to serve it in those things right so that is why she herself has given away her tumbler to the uh, to the concerned person and he filled the coffee in that particular tumbler so we all are doing our own efforts in some way or the other i mean maximum of us have stopped using plastic isn't it we as human beings are not i mean i think so we are not wasting waters anymore isn't it i why did i say waters because jab hum different countries ki baat karte hain so we consider that is waters agar sirf hum earth ke uh, like india ke bare mein baat kar rahe hote we as indians so i would have said water but i am considering everybody as a whole right so people are doing their efforts and we are the we are supposed to act as the responsible trustees who will going to give this earth to the next generation in a better condition the concept of sustainable development i hope all of you knows what is a sustainable development right wherein we want development but not on the uh, not in the uh, on the on the on the what should i say not in a not by compromising or not by depleting or not by destroying our resources right it says the concept of sustainable development was popularized in 1987 by the world commission on environment and development so this whole concept of sustainable development that came into the picture in the year 1987 right by the world oops 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 wait 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 okay, okay i'm so sorry yeah hmm so now it was being uh, popularized or it was being uh, the idea itself was given in the year 1987 by world commission environment and development in its report it defined the idea as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their ends or needs so we want development that is something which we all need isn't it but without compromising the ability hame itna zyada bhi apne resources ko dead nahi kar dena hai ki wo future generations ke liye bache hi na right it says development that meets the need hame jitna present mein chahiye we'll going to use utna hi usko pura ka pura khatam nahi kar dena hai and that is what is the concept of your sustainable development that is without stripping stripping means uh, taking away right or ya fir kisi bhi cheez ko ukhad dena strip off kar dena so without stripping the natural world of resources future generations would need so hame itna zyada bhi destroy nahi kar dena hai ki future generations ke paas wo cheez hi khatam ho jaye i mean there are so many animals which have got extinct with time right itni sari cheeze hai jo with time extinct ho chuki hai because we never took care of it right so that is what is trying to say ki hame we need to use our resources in such a in such a sensible way that our future generation will surely going to have it now mai aapko jo wo mirror wala incident bata rahi thi it's right here it says in the zoo at lusaka i repeat in the zoo at lusaka zambia zambia is where in africa right there is a cage and there what is uh, there is a cage in a particular zoo it says where the notice reads the world's most dangerous animal right and it says that here in the world's most dangerous animal live and how you and what animal is right there that is human itself inside the cage there is no animal but a mirror where you see yourself and and here in we have got no other animal inside it there is no animal inside that cage rather we have got a mirror or usme dekhe it it says that the meets the world's most dangerous animal inside the cage there is no animal but a mirror where you see yourself 
thanks to the efforts of a number of agencies in different countries a new awareness has now dawned now dawned means has finally taken over right morning ho chuki hai it's like a beginning ho chuki hai upon the most dangerous animal in the world he has realized the wisdom of shifting from a system based on domination to one based on partnership and finally abhi tak kya ho raha tha hum log ek aise system ka part the jahan pe we the humans used to saying that boss we will going to rule over here we have got the brains because only human the animal itself which is also an animal has got the brains right so we have got the brains so we will going to dominate the on the earth itself that was the psychology that was the mindset of the humans back in the year back perhaps in like a half the century ago right but hum hum ab hum us domination se dominant ka matlab kya hota hai which is uh, trying to act supreme right so ab hum us supreme so called supreme power se we have moved to the concept of partnership that hey earth hey the other things on earth let's live in partnership so we have finally come to that whole concept राइट गाइज एनी डाउट स्टिल नाउ ये चैप्टर समझ में आ रहा है आप लोगों को प्लीज लेट मी नो एक बार मुझे बता दीजिए सो दैट आई बी सुपर श्योर दैट एवरीबडी हैज गॉट इट कुछ भी डाउट है काइंडली राइट इट डाउन आई ट्राई टू आंसर इट ओके इट इज साइंटिस्ट हैव चेंज कैटेलॉग अबाउट ये आशीष यू आर नॉट इन जॉइंग द लेक्चर नो वॉट्स हैपनिंग टेल मी मैं वही अभी आई वॉज सेलिंग द सेम थिंग टू दिव्यांशु ऑल्सो दैट गाइज अगर ये चैप्टर अभी भी बोरिंग लग रहा है ना सो आई डोंट नो वॉट अर्थ नीड्स टू डू टू मेक अस रियलाइज दैट गाइज गेट अप नॉट डू समथिंग फॉर मी स्टॉप डिस्ट्रॉइंग मी स्टॉप यूजिंग स्टॉप ओवर यूजिंग माई रिसोर्सेज डोंट किल मी इन शॉर्ट ओके ऑल राइट रोशनी scientists have cataloged catalog means they have characterized they have talked about it about 1.4 million living species with which mankind shares the earth so abhi tak uh, scientists ne bataya hai ki earth pe sirf humans ke alawa there are 1.4 million other living species with which we are sharing this earth so we are not the only people i mean we are not the only beings which are here we are sharing this earth with 1.4 million other living species clear estimates vary vary means they differ widely as regards the still uncatalogued living species biologist reckon reckon simply means that they are calculating that about 3 to 100 million over living species still languish languish means lose Oh, where should I write it down? Yeah, okay. I'm uh, uh, doing it for all of you. If you have book, so kindly uh, write it down. It simply means language. Simply means lose. 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 Lose.
the first brand report raised the question are we to leave our successors a scorch scorch matlab kya hote hai burning ab uh, jaise ki because of scorch heat i was wearing um, sunscreen or i was wearing sunglasses that is the meaning of the word scorch heat so us report ka us report ne question kya kiya that are we to leave our successors successors kon hai aane wali generation a scorched planet of advancing deserts so hum kya aisa planet unke liye chhod ke ja rahe hain jahan pe sirf aur sirf deserts hone wale hain impoverished impoverished means poor poor landscapes right and ailing environment right and ailing environment simply means the environment the which is already sick so is that what our plan is supposed to be hum log aisa ek earth hamari uh, future generation ke liye chhod ke jayenge which is burning and there'll be like lots and lots of deserts there'll be impoverished like i mean that means with the poor conditioning of the landscapes and the very 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 bad condition of the environment mr lester r brown in his thoughtful book the global economic prospect points out that the earth's principal biological systems are four so now we have got this particular thing uh, there is this book right it says the global economic prospect so what does it talk about it points out that the earth's principal hamlari pass sirf four biological systems hai that is fisheries forests grasslands and croplands right so we have got these many things with us right yahan pe Or like on our earth they are the major things which affect us directly or indirectly that is fishery that means aquatic life forests grasslands and croplands and they form the foundation foundation ka matlab kya hota hai base foundation of the global economic system aur ye jo charo cheeze hain ye jo charo uh, ecology hai ye charo milke banati hai hamare economic system ko and what do we mean by the economic system the way i mean economic system simply means in charo ke through we generate money and what are those four things they are your fisheries your forests your grasslands and your croplands so these are the four ecologies and isi ke through hamari economy bhi banti hai in addition to supplying our food these four system provides virtually all the raw material for industry so now other than that they they provide us food or things like that ye na virtually virtually matlab kya hota hai uh, like they are presented in some way or the other not so clear virtually right so these four system provides virtually all the raw material you all know hame jitna bhi raw material aa raha hai wo inhi cheezon se aa raha hai for industry except minerals and petroleum derived synthetics now what are synthetics they are simply means the other substance right the other ordinary or artificial substance so petroleum or mineral hum isko ek bar ke liye artificial create kar rahe hain aur baki wo sab we are considering that as a natural resource right in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level or all over the world i repeat all over the world humans have reached to a level jahan pe ye log har ek cheez pe apna claim dikha rahe hain on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level aur ye bahut zyada increase ho chuka hai a point where their productivity is being impaired aur yahan pe in sab cheezon ye zyada itna zyada extract kar chuke hain mother earth se in cheezon ko that they have got finally damaged right when this happens fisheries collapse ab jab ye cheeze hum itna zyada earth se cheen rahe hain so isse hamari aquatic life mai fisheries collapse ho rahi hain they are uh, deteriorating they are dying forests disappear grasslands are converted into barren wastelands and croplands are deteriorated right they are declining and because of all these things because the way we are treating earth this is what is happening to all these four ecologies hamari fisheries collapse ho rahi hai forests disappear ho rahe hain this is something jo hame already pata hai right grassland jo itne beautiful grasslands hua karte the kabhi they are converted into barren barren means jahan pe kuch ug nahi sakta hai wastelands and croplands jitne bhi crop wale spaces hua karte the they all are declining 
in a protein conscious and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day so please guys do eat non veg i mean that's what others say kyunki egg mein protein hota hai fish mein protein hota hai so yahan pe ye bahut hi comical way mein likha gaya hai in a protein conscious and protein hungry world so hum us ek protein ke chakkar mein ओवर फिशिंग हम लोग इतना ज़्यादा फिशिंग फिश की ब्रीडिंग करवा रहे हैं दैट यू नो आई मीन फिश और बी एच योर चिक और योर हैं राइट इतना ज़्यादा हो रहा है बिकॉज वॉट ऑल वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट प्रोटीन और प्रोटीन के चक्कर में वी आर डूइंग ओवर ब्रीडिंग ऑफ ऑल दीज एनिमल्स राइट गाइज अभी भी कुछ भी डाउट है यू कैन लेट मी नो एंड दिस इज समथिंग जो आई मीन दिस इज सो स्केरी दिस इज सो स्केरी टू इवन टॉक अबाउट इट how badly we are treating our own earth in poor countries local forests are being decimated decimated means they are reducing to a large level so jitni bhi poor countries hain wahan pe jo local forests hain wo sab they are reducing in order to procure procure means to obtain procure means to obtain so in poor countries local forests are being decimated decimated means they are falling they are declining in order to procure in order to obtain firewood for cooking so now jitne bhi uh, you know like there are countries and especially the african countries they are so poor they are they are so poor ki ye log apni forests ko burn karte hain or for with the agenda to obtain to gather the firewood for cooking now iska result sunna aap kya hai In some places, firewood has become so expensive that what goes under the pot now costs more than what goes inside it. Right? It says up. Baki countries me itna zada. In fact, in all those poor countries also, firewood itna zada expensive ho chuka hai, guys. Itna zada ki jo pot ke niche, which is your fire. राइट जो आपकी फायरवुड है वो ज्यादा एक्सपेंसिव है जो आपके पॉट के अंदर जो खाना डल रहा है उससे भी ज्यादा यू गॉट द पॉइंट बिकॉज अब क्या हो रहा है वी आर वी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू फेच अवे दो फायरवुड और वो फायरवुड अब इस वजह से बहुत ज्यादा कम होने लगी है और अब फायरवुड की ही प्राइस इतनी ज्यादा हो गई है कि जो फूड उस पॉट के अंदर बनने के लिए बनने के लिए जाता है वो फूड भी इतने एक्सपेंसिव नहीं है जितना कि ये फायरवुड है You got it. What goes under the pot now costs more than what goes inside it. Since the tropical forest, now you understand what. If you are well versed with geography, so you will definitely know what are tropical forests. They are tropical rainforests, where there are very big trees. 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 Where there are the पावर हाउस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन सो नाउ ट्रॉपिकल जो फॉरेस्ट है वहीं पर सबसे ज्यादा एवोल्यूशन होता है वो पावर हाउस है सेवरल स्पीशीज ऑफ लाइफ फेस एक्सटेंशन एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस डिस्ट्रक्शन सो नाउ ये जो ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट है जिनसे कि वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक फूड बाई यूजिंग दो फायर वुड सो ये ना वंस अपॉन अ टाइम It was used to be called as a powerhouse of evolution, और यहाँ पे इतनी ज़्यादा species रहा करती थी but to face the reality now they all have uh, they either have got extinct या फिर वो लोग almost they are on the verge of getting uh, extinct, right? इतना ज़्यादा destroy कर चुके हैं earth को It has been well said that forests precede mankind. Precede means pehle. So we all know that forests were way, 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 way before the mankind was right here on earth. Deserts follow. So sabse pehle forests aaye aur uske baad mein deserts aaye. The world's ancient patrimony. Patrimony kya hota hai bachcha? Um, how should I explain it to you? Okay, it is like. what what i have got is from my father my father has got it from his own father right so patrimony ka matlab hai ancestors se jo hame property mili hai you got it what property we have got from the ancestors so the world's ancient patrimony of tropical forests is now eroding aur ye jo hame patrimony the the you know the ancestry thing this tropical forest which we have got from our forefathers that is now eroding and what do we mean by eroding that they are destroying they are moving apart they are uh, 
दे एट द आई मीन ये एक्सटिंक्ट होने वाले हैं मतलब साइकोसाइड ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट आर सम हाउ डिक्लाइनिंग एट द रेट ऑफ फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी मिलियन एकर्स अ ईयर एंड दे आर डिक्लाइनिंग आई मीन माई गॉड दी स्टैट्स आर सो हॉर्फाइंग right so they are declining at such a massive level it's such a colossal level it's such a whooping level right that we are losing not even like you know just like few figures we are actually losing at such a high rate 40 to 50 million acres a year itni zyada soil erosion ho raha hai itna zyada tropical forest destroy ho rahe they are coming they are they're at the edge of getting into extinct those other species and the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizer aur ye jo hum dung ka use karte hain for burning that is actually making the soil go all infertile aur wo uski jitne bhi natural fertilizers hai it is trying to take it away the world bank estimates that a five fold increase in the rate of forest five fold means panch guna zyada right the world bank estimates that a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed so abhi hum jitni plants uga rahe hain hame apna process five times multiply kar dena hoga to cope with the expected fuel wood demand in the year 2000 राइट सो क्योंकि फ्यूल वुड की डिमांड इतनी ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो जाएगी इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सो आई डोंट नो इट एक्चुअली हैपन टू नॉट बट इट वॉज इट वॉज बींग एक्सपेक्टेड कि अगर हमने ऐसा नहीं किया अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड बैंक अगर हमने फॉरेस्ट अगर हमने ट्रीज इतनी ज्यादा रेट पे नहीं प्लांट करना स्टार्ट किया द फ्यूचर इज ऑल डूब्ड या गाइज एनी डाउट स्टिल नाउ प्लीज एक बार पूछ लीजिएगा बिकॉज लेट्स बी वेरी सॉर्टेड This is a real interesting chapter, and this is what our Earth is going through right now. It says James Speth, the president of the World Resources Institute, said the other day. So now there's this uh, president of the World Resources Institute. Check it out. Who is saying it? The president of the World Resources Institute. The other day we were saying that we are losing the forests at an acre a second. so he was simply saying that we the humans are or in fact the earth itself is losing the forest at an acre you understand what is an acre i mean it is a it is a you know a a, a piece of a land which how we um, it's a way how you measure the size of the land so now we are losing each second each second we are losing an acre a second एक सेकेंड में हम लोग वन एकर वी आर लूजिंग बट इट इज मच क्लोजर टू एन एकर एंड हाफ टू अ सेकेंड बट हम अगले ही सेकेंड में वन लाइक मोर देन दैट वी आर लूजिंग सो दैट इज वॉट इज दी प्रेजेंट सिनेरियो ऑफ आर फॉरेस्ट आर्टिकल फोर्टी एट ए ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया सो नाउ दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट वर्ल्ड नाउ लेट्स कम टू इंडिया लेट जस्ट सी वॉट इंडिया इज डूइंग वेन इट कम्स टू द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द अर्थ It says Article forty eight A of the Constitution of India provides that that the state shall endeavour. Endeavour means trying to hold, right? Trying to achieve great heights or trying to achieve something. Yeah, Article forty eight A of the Constitution of India provides that that the state shall endeavour. to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forests and wildlife of the country so hamare constitution 48a mein likha hua hai article 48a mein that state state as in yahan pe state ka matlab hai the country itself okay the country will going to take such steps will going to join hands will try to work hard to protect and improve the current scenario the current situation of environment aur wo safeguard karegi protect karegi forests aur wildlife ko clear but what causes endless anguish anguish means anger is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in india but we as indians we know what is the present situation what is the present scenario of india हमारे पास शायद बहुत सारे लॉज है गाइज बट आर वी एक्चुअली यूजिंग इट आर वी एक्चुअली रिस्पेक्टिंग इट आर वी एक्चुअली एनफोर्सिंग इट नो राइट सो अगेन वो भी एक आर्टिकल है जो कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का पार्ट है बट हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस आर टेकिंग इट सीरियसली राइट 
बट वॉट कॉज इज एंडलेस एंग्वेज बट हमारे पास प्रॉब्लम क्या है सबसे ज्यादा यू नो वॉट क्रिएट्स दी एंगर इन ऑल ऑफ आस इज दैट वी हैव गॉट अ लॉ बट नो बडी रिस्पेक्ट इट एंड नो बडी ट्राइज टू फॉलो इट फॉर इंस्टेंस दैट मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से इज दैट कास्टिसिज्म untouchability and bonded labor shall be abolished so hamari constitution mein likha hua hai that you cannot um, you know these situations these things should not be in practice anymore and they are casteism so koi kisi caste ke bare mein baat nahi karega untouchability uh, ye nahi chhuna hai is insaan ko nahi chhu sakte ho aisi koi baat nahi karni hai and bonded labor uh, you know like uh, somebody has made a sign ki you will work for me without money because your father has taken money from me something like that so that is not will that is something which needs to be abolished from our country but they flourish shamelessly but this is something which is not at all happening rather ye with time flourish ho raha hai flourish means aur increase hota ja raha hai right flourish shamelessly even after 44 years of the operation of the constitution so it's been 44 years of our constitution and this thing is still prevalent in india right we do have uh, casteism we do have untouchability right here so jitna bhi sab kuch constitution mein likha hai we do not even uh, follow it we do not even respect it and nobody is enforcing it A recent report of our Parliament's Estimates Committee has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion. Now, what do we mean by the term catastrophic? Like a harmful decline or depletion or reduction in such a manner, right? Catastrophic means um, which is very uh, 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 which is very harmful, which is uh, disturbing to look at. Catastrophic. Estimate, okay, of India's forests over the last four decades. So. Um, sorry a report of our parliament's estimates committee has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion so there is a massive depletion of india's forests over the last four decades one decade is of 10 years four decades means 40 years may the forests have declined is a catastrophic depletion devastating destroying depletion of india's forests india according to reliable data and it is being mentioned according to reliable data there is like very authenticity related to this data jo abhi hame aage milega is losing its forest at the rate of 3.7 million acres a year and we the indians we are losing our forest at such a massive at such a colossal at such a whooping level which is 3.7 million acres a year that is um, disturbing large areas officially designated as forest land are already virtually treeless so uh, i mean there are forests jo bolne ke liye forest hai but they are virtually they are actually treeless there there is no tree which are being present there the actual loss of forest is estimated to be about 8 times the rate indicated by government statistics aur agar aise hi chalta raha so with you know jitna bhi percentage show hua hua hai it will going to multiply and it will be increased to 8 times imagine that oh god this is so disturbing to even talk about it this is so heartbreaking what are we doing okay it says a 3 year study using satellites and aerial photography conducted by the united nations warns that the environment has deteriorated so badly that it is critical in many of the 88 countries investigated so now the united nations they have got their own satellites and photography or unke according you know there are almost how many 88 countries they are in a critical situation and by critical we meant that they are losing their environment they are losing their resources at a very 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 pathetic situation right they are deteriorating they are depleting they they are they are depleting they are declining right they are decimated with time there can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors aur ye sab kyu ho raha hai guys without a doubt that the world population plays a pivotal role i repeat the population yes you heard me right think about india aur hamari population to oh my god 
I am I've like no words to explain. So there can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors distorting the future of human society. Or we, I mean the population itself is the reason for the present situation of human society. We are the uh, the one and the most strongest factors who are destroying, who are destroying, who are deteriorating, who are distorting. Distorting means torna, right? The future of human society. It took mankind more than a million years to reach the first billion, and uh, you know, I mean, it took mankind more than ham log ko almost one million zada years se bhi zada lag gaya to reach at first billion, right? So. Within a million, we have turned. I mean, we as humans, one million. के अंदर हम लोग one billion हो चुके थे. Sorry, first billion के अंदर हम लोग one million हो चुके थे. Vice versa. That was the world population around the year eighteen hundred, and that was us. That was the world population back in the year eighteen hundred. By the year nineteen hundred, a second billion was added. So now eighteen hundred में that was our stats. Almost one billion. Within almost hundred years, we have gone. We have reached to the level of second billion, right? Another hundred billions were added to it, which all together made two billion. My God! And the twentieth century has added three point seven billion, and that is the present situation. That is the present estimated figure of twentieth century. Guys, twenty first century is running right now. 20th century may he we have reached to 3.7 billion it has increased multifolds the present world population is estimated at 5.7 billion and the present the right now maybe or not even right now because this essay was published in the year 1994 right so 1994 may we were 5.7 million that is the all together the population of the earth Every four days, the world population increased by one million. Imagine just in four days. I mean, estimations. Look at you guys. In like four days, the world population has increased by million, by one million, just in four days. Oh God! Fertility falls as incomes rise, and education spreads and health improves. So now, what do we need to do? We need to Make people educated because education से क्या होता है हमारी income rise होती है we get brains. Vice versa means uh, for example uh, both the ways both the ways that is the meaning of the word vice versa. Clear? It says fertility falls. So fertility means. Um, फ्यूचर का जो प्लानिंग होती है फर्टिलिटी राइट सो दैट फॉल्स एज इनकम राइजेस नाउ हम लोग वो इनकम राइज कैसे होती है जब जैसे हम एजुकेशन वी गेट द एजुकेशन और एजुकेशन के साथ ही आर हेल्थ आल्सो इम्प्रूव्स वी गेट हम लोग कितना ज्यादा सैनिटाइज करने लग जाते हैं वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आर हेल्थ दस डेवलपमेंट इज द बेस्ट कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव और ये जो डेवलपमेंट है वॉट इज दिस डेवलपमेंट दैट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द माइंड ऑफ द पीपल एंड दैट इज थ्रू एजुकेशन और कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव का मतलब क्या होता है बच्चा कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव आर बेसिकली टू किल समथिंग राइट बट डेवलपमेंट इट सेल्फ मे नॉट बी पॉसिबल इफ द प्रेजेंट इंक्रीज इन द नंबर्स कॉन्टिन्यूज सो डेवलपमेंट भी पॉसिबल नहीं है मे नॉट बी पॉसिबल इफ द प्रेजेंट इंक्रीज वॉट इज दिस प्रेजेंट इफ द प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन इफ द प्रेजेंट सिनारी स्टिल ऑन इंक्रीज मल्टीफोल्स तो फिर हमारा एजुकेशन भी और हमारी डेवलपमेंट कुछ वर्क नहीं करेगी द रिच गेट रिच एंड अगेन योर इकोनॉमिक्स इज राइट हियर यू नो जो अमीर है वो अमीर बनते जा रहे हैं एंड द पुअर बिगेट चिल्ड्रेन बिगेट मीन्स गिव लाइफ टू सॉरी इट्स इज द रिच गेट्स रिच एंड द पुअर बिगेट बिगेट मीन्स दे गिव लाइफ टू Children, which condemns, which condemns means which uh, find it guilty of something, which are guilty of something or the other, them to remain poor. So, जो poor है, they are creating more and more children, and this new gen, this new generation, the new child, the new, you know, the those family of new children, they are, they are again having a life of poverty. 
मोर चिल्ड्रेन डज नॉट मीन मोर वर्कर्स एंड दे लाइक वेट ऐसा नहीं है कि ज्यादा बच्चे हैं तो ज्यादा वर्कर्स हो गए हैं मेयरली मोर पीपल विदाउट वर्क Rather this means that अभी तक already unemployment है और इसी के साथ अगर और ज्यादा बच्चे are there if the population is increasing that doesn't mean we have got more workers rather we don't have any work to do right so that is the present situation of the perhaps of India and of almost everywhere it is not suggested that human beings be treated like cattle and compulsorily sterilized so now it is saying that aisa nahi hai ki hame human beings ko cattles ki tarah use karna hai ya fir uh, you know hame unko sterilize kar dena hai i mean which makes them free from bacteria but there is no alternative to voluntary family planning without introducing an element of coercion or rather hame ek एक कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ साथ में आना पड़ेगा विच इज कॉल्ड इज फैमिली प्लानिंग वेर इन यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग मेनी चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज मेनी चिल्ड्रेन डज नॉट मीन दैट देर आर मोर वर्क आई मीन देर आर मोर हेल्प राधर वी नीड टू वी डोंट हैव मच वर्क एंड दैट इज ग्रेजुअली टर्निंग इन टू नो वर्क और नो वर्क के साथ कॉन्सेप्ट आता है पावर्टी का राइट कोअर्जन मीन्स बाई फोर्स the choice is really between control of population and perpe- and perpetuation of poverty so now the author is like hamare paas sirf do hi choices hai which is ya to hum log control kar le apni population ko ya fir hum log life long like keep on living keep on going with poverty so choice is yours that is what the author is trying to say that either you start having a uh, family planning otherwise if you are fine living in poverty coercion means by force 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 if you're fine living in poverty then choice is totally yours perpetuation means or perpetual means keep on going the population of india is estimated to be 920 million today and that is what the population of india is at the present time and at the present that means in the year 1994 920 million i'm so sorry 920 million today more than the entire populations of africa and south america put together imagine africa is what a continent so us ek puri continent ko merge kar lo along with south america itself itni to sirf india ki population hai no one familiar with the conditions in india would doubt that the hope of the people would die in their hungry hunt men's and now we i think there is nothing there is nothing which is being kept as um, which is being kept coercion means bachcha uh, force 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 i just told you you know deepak coercion means force it says the population of india is estimated to be 920 million today more than the entire populations of africa and south america put together no one familiar with the conditions in india would doubt that the hope of the people would die in their hungry hut men's unless population control is given topmost priority and they are saying ki hum log aise hi rehte re hum log hamari uh, you know like the others who are living those such kind of life they will going to live in those small tiny huts in a very pathetic condition they will going to sleep hungry agar abhi bhi humne population control nahi ki Are we clear, guys? अभी तक कुछ भी doubts है you can again ask me. Don't keep the doubts there with you. Put it across. I'll try to help you out. For the first time in human history, we see a transcending concern. Now, what do we mean by the transcending concern? I need a space to write it down. I'll write it here. A concern. Because these are the key words, guys. So please really clear it up. That existed. for a that existed sorry for a very ko mai v likh rahi hu please for a very and i'm uh, speaking the words which i'm writing so i hope aapko likhne mein problem na ho for a very long time and has passed down and again guys one more information kabhi bhi english exams mein i repeat and kabhi aise nahi likhenge aap log theek hai <laughs> thank you suja it has um for a very long time and has passed down from 
one generation to another right it says a concern that existed for a very long time and has passed down from one generation to another so ye hum log ka problem tha like for the very first time in the history of humans we are see a transcending concern so ek generation se wo dusri generation tak wo concern aa chuka hai the survival not just of the people but of the planet and ab hum log sirf humans ke survival ke bare mein baat nahi kar rahe hain rather we are talking about the survival of the planet we have begun to think a holistic view of the holistic means comprising of everything holistic view of the very basis of our existence aur ab hum log hamare existence ke sab cheezon ko consider karne lage hain The environmental problem does not necessarily signal our demise, and he's like कि सिर्फ जो environment का demise means death. So ये जो environment का problem है सिर्फ यही एक reason नहीं है for our demise, right? For our death, it is our passport for the future. अगर हम लोग ने अभी भी environment को सही नहीं रखा, so there will be no passport for the future. The emerging emerging means uh, coming up with new time, shooting up. The emerging new world vision has assured. Assured means uh, they have guided someone in the era of responsibility. Or हम लोग उस era of responsibility में रह रहे हैं. It is a holistic view, an ecological view, seeing the world as an integrated whole rather than a disassociated collection of parts. So अब हमारा जो transcending concern है. Transcending concern मतलब प्रीवियस जनरेशन से जो हम में आ गया दैट वी आर टेकिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी बिलोंग टू अ जनरेशन हु आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल राइट एंड वी डू बिलीव इन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिविंग टुगेदर वी आर कंसिडरिंग टू लिव एज एन इंटीग्रेटेड होल राइट अब हम लोग उस वाले पार्ट में बिलीव नहीं करते हैं दैट दैट द यू नो ह्यूमन्स आर डोमिनेटिंग राइट राधर वी बिलीव इन लिविंग इन लिविंग इन इंटीग्रेटेड लाइफ ऑल टूगेदर industry has a most crucial role to play in this new era of responsibility and now they are saying that industry has got this new uh, they have to play a crucial role in accepting their own responsibility what a transformation would be effected if more businessmen shared the view of the chairman of dupont mr edgar s volvo Volat, who five years ago declared himself to be the company's chief environmental officer, assured means butcha guide someone, right? Assured means guide someone. So now there was this uh, businessman whose name is Mr. Edgar S. Volat, who uh, five years ago declared himself as the company's chief environmental officer. He said our continued existence. as a leading manufacturer requires that we excel in environmental performance and he himself said that if we want to become the leading manufacturers who just be cheez ke sath deal karte the to usko maintain karne ke liye hame excel karna padega in protecting our environment also right of all the statements made by margaret thatcher margaret thatcher is uh, american um, Uh, uh, she has written a books also, Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, during the years of her prime ministership. So yes, she was a prime minister. None has passed so decisively into the current coin of English usage as her felicitatious words. What do we mean by the felicitatious? It simply means well chosen words. No generation has a free hold on this earth, and she has made it very clear. the president of so the, the, the prime minister of america she has made it very clear to each one of us that we the generation you know hamare paas koi bhi free hold nahi hai is earth ka no generation has a free hold on this earth all we have is a life tenancy with a full repairing lease hum log yahan pe tenants hai tenants kaun hote hain um जो घर पे पे करके रहते हैं राइट सो वी आर जिसे हम किराएदार बोलते हैं राइट सो नाउ वी आर सिंपली द टैनेंट्स विद अ फुल रिपेयरिंग लीज और हमें ही उसको हम लोग हमारे पास लीज है रिपेयरिंग की लीज क्या होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल यू कम एंड स्टेट माय होस एट माय हाउस सो आई विल गोइंग टू गिव यू माई हाउस ऑन लीज की पाँच साल के लिए आपका है 
राइट सो इसका रिपेयरिंग इसका मेंटेनेंस आप ही को करना होगा सो दैट्स व्हाट मार्गरेट थैचर हर सेल्फ हैज सेड दैट वी आर नॉट द ओनर ऑफ दिस अर्थ वी आर सिंपली द टैनेंट्स राइट एंड वी आर लिविंग ऑन लीज वेर इन वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस earth we need to repair it in the words of mr lester brown we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers and mr lester brown ne kaha tha that it is not like ki humne ye earth apne forefathers se liye ye koi property nahi hai this is not uh, you know the property which we have got from our forefathers we have borrowed it from our children rather this is a thing which we have borrowed it from our children itself we do not own it right we do not own it rather we owe it to our children itself right so that was all about the chapter i hope you guys are very 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 clear with this chapter right the ailing planet the green movements role right so if you still have any doubts you can ask me और हम जल्दी से एक बार इस चैप्टर की समरी देख लेते हैं एंड दैट वे इज विल बी सुपर 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 क्लियर विद दिस चैप्टर सो नाउ निधि इफ यू आर राइट देयर यस 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 निधि इफ यू आर राइट देयर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स नाउ इज द चैप्टर वेरी क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड स्पेशली टू यू निधि डू वी हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन रिलेटेड टू इट यस यू हैव डाउट Okay, ask. Go for it. Tell me, what doubts you have? My God, this slide is looking so pretty, isn't it? What doubts you have, Nidhi? Come on, write it down. Okay, it's clear. All right. Okay, okay. It says now. Let's check out the summary of this whole chapter. The Earth's resources are limited. and will not last forever it says jo earth ke resources hai they are so limited in number and they will surely not going to last forever in the 20th century there has been a revolutionary change in human perception and in the previous century people have got brains right or ab ye log they are they are wide awake right and they have got a revolutionary change in their perception in their mindset we cannot take the planet for granted and we have got this whole idea that we cannot take this earth this planet for granted and this mindset this perception we have got in previous century itself we have to take a holistic view of the very basis of our existence so we need to take care we need to cover every inch every corner of our existence which is we need to cover we have to consider what all things are there and we need to respect that the earth is a living organism of which we are simply parts of it and earth itself is a living organism right earth itself goes to a metabolic changes right earth ki energy bhi create or destroy hoti hai so earth is simply earth itself is a living organism aur hum us living organism ka ek part hai we should respect and preserve it for our future generations and we should rather preserve it we should rather respect it for our future generations the global economic prospect a book points out that the planet's major biological systems are four that are so according to global economic prospect uh, it's a book right usme unhone four major points ke bare mein discuss kiya tha so, guys we are simply checking out the summary okay they were fisheries forests croplands and grasslands and right and they are actually affecting the economy of the world as well ye jo ecologies hai ye hamare economy ko bhi affect karti hai these virtually consists of all the raw materials of industries at present i'm sorry and they actually provide the raw material to almost all the other industries of the present time right a non sustainable utilization of these resources is occurring and we the humans we are actually do not agreeing with the concept of sustainable development rather we have moved to non sustainable development or not sorry sorry for using the term development non sustainable utilization of these resources 
then the writer is concerned about the lessening of the forest land and the next point which the writer has pointed out was that of the lessening lessening means um you know like reducing declining of the forest land the dung which we should use as a natural fertilizer we are generally using to produce fuel aur hum jo dung jo use kar sakte hain to uh, you know uh, to actually use as a natural fertilizer rather we are using it as a fuel rather kyunki you remember that fire woods wala incident on the other hand the soil is not receiving natural fertilizer aur isi wajah se soil ko apna natural fertilizer nahi mil raha hai then the writer refers to article 48a you remember abhi jahan pe humne untouchability aur in sub concepts ke bare mein baat kiya tha right then the art then the writer refers to article 48a of the constitution of india it states that the state should guard and improve the forest and the wildlife as well so as per this law as per this article of constitution it asks us to guard to safeguard and improve the present situation of forest and the wild life but they do not impose the law appropriately or unfortunately shayad ye hamare law mein hi problem hai that people don't follow it then the writer refers to a parliamentary committee report that says the decline of a forest at the frequency of 3.7 million acres every single years or every single year so now there is a report which is being presented in parliament wherein they are talking about the declining declining of what the forest at the frequency frequency means uh, multiple times that is 3.7 million acres every single year the united nation cautions that the environment has deteriorated so severely that it is critical in many of the 88 countries examined so united nations ne apni satellites or aerial photography ke through they have checked out the present situation of the earth right aur usme se 88 countries ki halat bahut zyada kharab hai when it comes to the situation of environment they are deteriorating they are declining with time the population is rising at a very higher rate so next point kya tha population ke bare mein and it says that the population is rising at a very higher rate development and growth are the two most appropriate solutions to people's problem so we large large we will we'll, deepak abhi na i'll show you one slide aap uska uh, screenshot le lijiyega aur wahan pe ye sab terms humne use kare hain cool Yeah, development and growth are the two most appropriate solutions to a people's problem. With such a population, development is a difficult task to do. Or if we go with this population, ke aage gai, so there will be no development. Rather, there will be no earth left for us. We need a proper family planning to control the situation of overpopulation, and we need to have a for proper family planning to get hold to you know to um. Uh, get hold of the of the, the this whole idea of overpopulation there is a major need to control the population of the earth and uh, you all know i mean there is no doubt that we need to take care of our earth and that the first step towards is by keeping the track by controlling our population the writer at this point once more repeats the positive change in view of the people regarding ecology industries also take responsibility for better ecosystem right so even industries is also coming with the concept of proper ecosystem so let's conclude the whole chapter sorry it is not visible i think it is yeah to conclude the ailing the planet uh, to conclude the ailing planet the green movement's role somebody it tells us about the situation of this planet in a crucial condition and how we must do our best to save it so that is the overall gist of your chapter right so now uh, all of you i would request to take the screenshot of this particular slide here in whatever the key words are Uh, in your book so we have got it right here the first one is a holistic and ecological view which means a complete view of the whole thing keeping in mind the interrelationship of constituents among themselves and to environment so holistic ecological view ka matlab kya hai that we are we want the development by keeping everything in relationship with each other 
sustainable development which means development that can be continued for a long time right without and without harming the resources much and keeping it safe for our future generation language means forced to stay somewhere away Ignom <clears throat> ignominious darkness means disgraceful or humiliating darkness <coughs> inter alia means among other things decimated simply means destroyed catastrophic depletion means disastrous exhaustion transcending concern means surpassing concern jo ek generation se dusri generation pe ko mila so um i hope you are very much very very clear with this whole topic write the ailing planet the green movement role now if you still have any doubts i would request all of you to write it down in the comment box and i'll try to answer it out abhi bhi kuch bhi doubts hai kuch bhi questions hai you can ask me and with this we are done with this way i i believe we are done with the chapter right so um, that is all about the ailing planet the green movement role so we have talked about the present situation of earth the past situation of earth aur agar hum isi situation aise hi if we'll going to carry on we'll be soon doomed right so it's high time that we should take care of our earth another important notice for all of you is that guys do download the unacademy app or please uh, get enroll to our plus and uh, you know i mean uh, because therein we will going to come up with the, the whole uh, we'll going to cover the whole topic of grammar we'll going to cover every inch of it in the month of november so guys do enroll yourself with an academy and for that you can use my code also which is ambika right with that i'm going to take your leave do take care of yourself and keep on studying and do study hard yeah guys all right then bye bye take care Yes, Sujal, I teach both. Mm -hmm.